hello hello everyone how are you hope all is well with you and your family hope you're taking all precautions to keep yourself safe no on a note of being safe how well do you feel safe in jamaica like really how safe do you really feel firstly for you lot that are going to come into the comment section and say crime is everywhere in the world bear this in mind we are grown and we already know that but as for jamaicans we are worried about jamaica and we can't take on the world on our head because jamaica is enough and we are jamaicans first because you know remember there were certain crimes when we hear about them you know we have it down as not happening in jamaica you know but they happen in other parts of the world not jamaica and when it came down to the ethics of jamaicans we gave the impression of being a god-fearing people because if you check it every other corner there is a church sometime you do ever reach the next corner before you pass three or four church well you see that god fearing thing it gone right through the door because that was then and even then there was corruption but the standards and morals of jamaica has decayed so badly and right now it is at the worst it could have ever been do you lot realize and remember delusions won't help to save your life right now but there are criminals driving around not only on these yang yang bikes they also have different modes of traveling these days in these streets they are driving around in expensive vehicles like regular people you would not be suspecting them because there is no way you are going to be expecting a vehicle like for example a suzuki grand vitara pulling up on you trying to juke you down and rob you well that's what happened to my girlfriend they are in mark x's they are in step honda and of course you know the regular wagons so it's safe to say any vehicle at all that you see coming along you have to be cautious and suspicious about trust me you are not paranoid you are right on point to be fearful these criminals are driving around looking for unsuspecting pedestrians or motor vehicles break down or the drivers might stop to do something example you could be on your way to or from work the most important thing if you drive up to your workplace and it is not a secure compound once you park check all your rear view mirrors look in your side mirrors check around you quickly do what you have to do and step out of your vehicle no linger your backside hang out of the vehicle searching for something in your vehicle those days are gone to be that relaxed you get home you drive up to your gate come out to open your gate you see a vehicle about to pass baps it could be someone about to draw down on you you could drive into your yard about to go and shut back the gate before you go in open up to go into your home and them still running on you once enough people is not around you during certain times when you're going in and out of your vehicle anything can happen you have to suspect everything you could be in the mall getting into your vehicle if there's no obvious eyes around you you may be a target I remember just a few months ago there was a young lady who went to the mall to buy some stuff just as she was opening her door to go into her vehicle a car was parking right beside her the door just opened and it just gone draw on her the person beckoned her to go into her vehicle go over they took the steering and drive away with the young lady 
and the criminal vehicle that was beside her just drive behind them and went well thank god she made it out of that situation alive so it just goes to show you you have to be suspicious of everything and be alert at all times for the life of me my greatest nightmare is not to have my vehicle break down or have any problem on the roads where i have to stop and ask for help god forbid all your tire puncher in these streets i have to stop to change it you have to suspect anyone that comes up to you to offer help no matter how innocent and how sweet them smile is you are a target you know it's just crazy we can't live like this the only thing you can do is just pray to god that you are not spotted in any situation by any one of these double vehicles whether it be bikes or motor vehicles you just don't want to be on their radar because once they spot you that's it many of us traverse in and out and go about a business and everything okay yeah you know what the thing is it's just not your time yet you still have to be cautious it may not have happened to you but you have to be cautious because other people are going through it it's not that you are more special than them you are just never on their radar as yet because you have to remember in all the cases i mentioned above you are only lucky because you are not spotted now it brings me to this incident with the son of a prominent businessman Gary Peart, who is Mayberry Investment CEO and Supreme Ventures Executive Chairman. So his son Aaron Peart and his friend had reportedly stopped to change a tire on their motor vehicle when they were accosted by gunmen who demanded their belongings and shoot them right in front of the Prime Minister's office, Jamaica House. It's alleged they had just left Ribbies when they realized they had a punctured tire. Trust and believe, you can't make this up. Can you just imagine, if you are on Hope Road and you get a puncture tire or in any difficulties, worse at night, you would believe the safest place is indeed Jamaica House as that is the Prime Minister of Jamaica office because it is supposed to be well guarded 24-7. As you are thinking, it's supposed to be well perched out with JCF police and JDF officers and any other security details. So it would be natural to expect if you're in distress you stop right there so is the safest zone but the funny thing with jamaican criminals the daring and the bare face and they already pre out or laps the security systems are in jamaica so they are not deterred by that so it never hindered them from robbing these people and then shooting them in the wee hours of around 3 30 a.m in the morning now you know what is most shocking is aaron managed to call his father after being shot and his father left cherry gardens and reached the spot in front of jamaica house took his son and his friend to the hospital before any emergency team came on the scene to assist them to the hospital i be damn however they underwent a successful operation and are recuperating right now so are you telling me the police and other security on the grounds was not alert from the vehicle came and parked outside the gates of jamaica house it could have been anything else and people want to attack the compound 
What happened to the CCTV cameras? Is there really any there working? Are they going to play that game like there was CCTV camera working? Because the security details should have been up and active from the vehicle at that hour of the night come parking at the gate there. It should have been going around on the CCTV camera that someone is outside there. And some arrangement should have re already been in place for someone to go tell them that they can't park there. Then they would have understood that it is a vehicle in distress. And of course it would have warded off the criminals because remember the security team on the ground supposed to be armed and ready and in terms of emergency vehicle after the situation happened say it became real to them after the shots were heard why did it take so long for emergency vehicle to even come on the scene so much so that the same person who injured could call him father and him still reached from where he was to assist them to the hospital i would have think something happening at jamaican house would have been priority all i have to say now jamaican people wise up because this goes to show we're going to suffer in this country we are on our own because if that can happen at the prime minister's office how long do you think emergency service is going to take to reach you and I as Jamaicans? We better be thinking of these things and be very aware of the reality of the state that Jamaica is in right now. And remember, this incident happened between 3.30 to 4 a.m. in the morning and later in the evening is when they block off the roads say they are doing investigations all sections of the roadways in that area was closed up sending traffic into a gridlock already you know hope road is already a gridlock traffic area and uh, into peak hours when people would be rushing home from work that's when the old place is locked off however it is said that the police managed to uncover CCTV coverage of the incident and they are continuing their investigations. Anyway guys, stay focused, stay aware. Jamaica is not no playground. The length and depths of these criminals are real. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe to my platform please. Love you all. Bye for now.